So the car was out from Tuesday. Came back yesterday at seven. Um, I'm a home care therapist, so I go house to house uh, to provide physical therapy for people in the Bronx. And so I've had to ask like patients, could I charge my stuff in their homes? Yeah, so there's people, a lot of people in the Bronx, they're relying on um, like breathing machines and um, machines that um, supply them with oxygen. And, you know, the Bronx has higher rates of asthma and respiratory issues, so that's a big deal. After the hurricane, the outer boroughs experienced widespread record outages, but Manhattan barely experienced any. How does that make you feel? Make you feel like they favor Manhattan more than us. I'm not even going to count. I guess there's no money here, so take your time. That's how it looks. Okay. Did you have any food or medication go bad? Food. All my baby food that was in the fridge gone bad. Baby food. See, I just went for some more. Crazy. Yeah. So my mother has sleep apnea, and all four kids have asthma, including the adult. So Still when the, the power, power goes out, I guess with the air being off, we don't get enough air. Us being asthmatics, we need the air to keep us going. And with the power being out, you can't use the machine. You only can rely on your inhaler, which is at times not so well. You need the machine at times. So what do you guys do instead when the power goes out? We leave or depending on what line is on, which is out, we'll go to a friend's house to try to use the machine or we'll just go and get a hotel room for the night. Hopefully it comes back on in the morning. If not, we stay out at the hotel again. Yeah. I feel that Manhattan, they get more attention towards. Like anytime, even when the snow falls, you go downtown Manhattan, you, you wouldn't see no snow. Come to the Bronx, Brooklyn, Queens, and you're like, okay, it snow here. What happened to my hat? Exactly. They the cleaned city, it up. You, it's, it's like they caught the snow out of midair. You know?